I would I like on your project, uh, Jonathan, as well as Gregory, which is the other people, the other person in social media, too, is that you're trying to uh, build up awareness of this big problem we have, you know? And yeah, go on. Well, well, I just it's just that I. So I literally, my main project is for, for girls' education. And yeah. as aware as I am, every time I read stories, every mm -hmm. time you hear things, mm -hmm. the world gets slightly darker. And I, as a man, and I'm also, you know, I, I'm a, I think differently. So I don't care really enough about about anything to for someone to upset me um and it was a female colleague who said that she was getting this three four times a day and it yeah. is this i mean we had this discussion and we'll have a discussion when we get a group together but yeah. there is this entire embedded culture that hmm. it's okay for men to approach women in any circumstance you know, it only became, um, so when I started working in the late eighties, finished school 89, so it would have been early nineties and mm -hmm. the practices in offices in those days. So before social media, but the, mm -hmm. I had seen routine groping of female members of staff, you know, pat on the bum, what have you as normalized. Mm hmm yeah. So it's gotten so much more explicit and available through yeah. the social media world mm -hmm. that both the um, sexualization or the degradation. So at the football end, people screaming because players take the knee and screaming, calling them this and the other. They obviously they need the kind of help that you offer, mm -hmm. but the trouble is, it's like it's like me. So I now, when I if I do anything professional, you pay up mm -hmm. front for my time, because yeah. people they uh, well, it's like you say they they ask you for money um or help yeah. or something like that and there was a lot of so gazelle who's going to join us in a later conversation she told me this and i never knew before but as a lot of catfishing goes on to women from yeah. military accounts i'm this soldier here i'm this soldier. oh yes yes tell definitely. me about that tell me about that but you know, know what happened to me uh, jonathan uh, in LinkedIn, I haven't experienced that that much. Mm -hmm. But for example, that's why we were talking last Sunday and all this little by little came, Social Me Too was born. Facebook is a jungle. <laughs> it's the only way I can actually describe Facebook. My marketing strategy, like for example, in LinkedIn, anyone can send me a connection. In Instagram, anyone can follow me. On Facebook, one day, when I was changing my way of approaching social media from a private to a entrepreneur, mm. I decided one day to open Facebook for one day to the public. It was the worst mistake in my life. On one night, I received about 200, 300, I lost count of invitations. Oh. It's stupid of me. I accept all of them. Blah, blah, none of them, but at least a hundred. Blah, 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 blah. I went for work. I went to work. When I come back, I start to receive, as you were saying, military. You get everywhere, anything under the sun. And the most disgusting thing is that actually I had to walk, I had, I had to wake up uh, to pictures that I shouldn't be sent. Mm -hmm. And mm -hmm. anyone that will be able to look at this recording will understand what I mean by these pictures. Yeah. All right? Yeah. We had all. So I was like, what is this? They would start to ring with me because on Facebook, yeah, you can ring people up, right? They would start to ring me. I will never forget. I was with one of my friends actually having a, a, a lunch and he was like, who, who you are hanging up the phone like that? And I said, you know what? I made the biggest mistake in my life. So that afternoon I went home. I delete all that people. I blocked them all out. 
I change again. So now, for example, in Facebook, I have, because I'm a female, mm -hmm. I have to only affect friends of friends to send me an invitation. And just because I am a female. So as a life coach, that I, I, do, I do work with everyone, you know, males and females. But I would say that my speciality, if, that, if we call it like that, it tends to be females. So I do believe on empowering women. That's where you and I, we met because mm -hmm. we are in a similar path, right? So as a woman that I believe on empowering women, I feel that men that are not allowing me to move forward on Facebook. Why I have to follow different strategy in there? Mm -hmm. You know, why don't allow me? Because it might be, males out there that they want to be helped do you know what i mean and because of these other males that they send you stupid pictures and stupid messages they cannot get through to me no. because they cannot find me on facebook and not everyone is on facebook so you see what the repercussion of all it is a, yeah well this is the thing of um and I, I i as an analogy you could look at what we're discovering about concussions in sports. So we're only just now learning that heading the ball causes concussions, tiny mm -hmm. ones. And I think that this problem of the assumption that a woman is open to be approached, but look, so... I'm sorry, I don't hold in my eyes. Because no, it's no, because it's... So, yeah, no, I get it. I, well, I don't get it, but... I yeah, mean, you get you get it, Jonathan, because at least it's, I find that really, I was saying it to you guys the other day, and I say it now on yeah. the recording, I, you know, for everyone who's watching, Social Me Too is being brought up by two males, Gregory in the other side of Atlantic, and Jonathan, that it just happened to be around the corner from my house, which we didn't know, you know, but there are males out there, girls, that they want to help us, that really are there for us, you know, but unfortunately, other males that don't allow us. I think the project that you and Gregory are doing is great. And I'm very much looking forward to see it growing 